Um, my father, Fred Lebo, started um, working at the Lemoyne plant of the American Can Company back in the 1950s. So I remember as a kid going in there to visit him and remember seeing all these cans everywhere and somehow it um, got into my brain uh, at an early age and when I was 14 I had some other friends who collected beer cans and I was sort of helping them with their collections. And at that point we would just sort of look around along the roads, you know, picking up old cans that we could find along the roads. And um, the question occurred to me, I wonder how many cans there are out there in the world. And so for the last 30 odd years, I've been trying to answer that question. And so far I have about 83,000 cans in my collection and still counting. And it's been a lot of fun over the years. I've gotten to um, do quite a bit of traveling uh, various parts of the world to view other collections and to buy other collections. And uh, made a lot of good friends in the hobby over the years. So it's been really a good time and I really enjoyed it very much. Beer cans started being manufactured in um, 1935. And it's these really early cans that I'm most after, the ones from the 30s and 40s, uh, and into the 50s also. Um, I find it kind of fascinating um, you know, trying to preserve some of the social history of the country in a way. Um, when you look at beer advertising, it's sort of um, a cross-section of America. You know, beer is a very sort of middle-class item to be buying. and um, I find it kind of fascinating how beer companies marketed their product to people, um, particularly in the 1950s when they were sort of selling the idea of the American dream. Um, and there's one series in particular uh, from a brewery in Chicago called Meisterbrau, which marketed a series called the Happy Days series, which depicted people uh, doing various activities, skiing and, and so forth, and living the good life, living the, you know, American dream that was being sold to us. Um, and I find that really kind of fascinating and seeing how um, the advertising has evolved over the years. Um, and my degree in college was in art, so I'm also very interested in um, aesthetics and, um, and package design in particular. Uh, and it's fascinating to me to see how these designs have, um, have evolved over the years. And a lot of people ask me what the attraction is. I suppose it's um, sort of like finding buried treasure, maybe. <clears throat> looking for particular items that you've been looking for for years, and then finally having the opportunity to actually get one and add it to your collection is sort of a thrill. It's kind of hard to describe. My wife sort of says there are kind of two, two types of people in the world, people who collect things and people who don't. And so if you don't collect things, you're probably not going to really get it. But people can appreciate the collection on other levels, you know, aesthetic levels, or historical levels, things like that, um, or even just as a curiosity. But uh, it's definitely something that I've enjoyed very much over the years, and I have no plans of stopping anytime soon.